heist to straight up comedy, Peyton Reed maintains a strong genre standing with Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp, but in doing so presents an ultimately forgettable storyline. Two years after fighting the Avengers alongside Cap in Civil War, Scott Lang is brought back into the world of the Micromolecular when he turns out to be a key in bringing back Hope's mother from the Quantum Realm. But things aren't that simple. The team face black market dealers, a quantum phasing villain, and a rather pesky house arrest anklet. Ant-Man and the Wasp is the perfect lemon sorbet to the spicy chilli curry that Infinity War was. It calms and delights the taste buds in equal measure. From the opening sequence, it tells you that it's not going to take itself seriously, and plays through with joke after joke from Rudd's excellent comedic timing. It's just a shame that the plot takes a hit because of it. The comedy takes centre stage, resulting in the villain Ghost being vastly underplayed, especially given Hannah John Carmen's incredibly compelling performance, and its subplots fight to take precedence in a way that arguably the real villain is time and the busyness of life. A peculiar take on the superhero movie, but nevertheless a lot of fun. So that was my one minute review of Ant-Man and the Wasp. If you enjoyed it, then please leave me a like and a comment down there telling me whether you have seen the film. And if you have, let me know what you thought about the post credit sequences. I, for one, really, really enjoyed them, although they kind of broke me a little bit. And as ever, be sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you when I see you. Oh, you've been facing the wrong way all this time, little dude.